Hi again everyone, this is um, the second part of the Dalton's Law video and in this video I just want to work through this example on using the Dalton's Law equations to calculate a couple of the properties that's being asked here which is mole fraction and partial pressure. Just as a reminder, the partial pressure is defined as the pressure of each gas in a gas mixture and you can calculate it using this equation which is just a, a modified version of the ideal gas equation or you can also, uh, and mole fraction, remember, is the concept that um, it's what is the fraction of a gas in the total mixture of the gases, and you can calculate that either by using the ratio of number of moles or the ratio of partial pressure to the total pressure, okay? And there's a, a third form of the equation which basically relates partial pressure to total pressure using the mole fraction. All right, let's go back to that question. It says here that you have 0.428 gram um, of a mixture of gases and it has a total pressure of 1.75 atmosphere and it contains these following percentages of gases by mass. The question is what's the mole fraction and what's the partial pressure of each gas? So before we you know, actually go out and calculate it, let's just kind of think through the problem a little bit. We want mole fraction, and as you remember earlier, mole fraction is defined as either the ratio of uh, pressures or the ratio of number of moles. Now, if you look at the uh, information that's given here, which is, you know, you're given the total mass, right? And then you're also given the percent mass of each of these components in your mixture. Now, knowing the total mass and the percent mass, that should allow you to calculate the mass of each of these gases. Once you have the mass of each of the gases, then you should think that it's possible to calculate the number of moles of each of the gases. And once you have the number of moles of each of the gases, then you should be able to calculate the mole fraction of each gas using this form of the mole fraction, which is just the number of moles of one of the gases divided by the total number of moles, which is just going to be the sum of all the number of moles of the three gases that you have here. Okay, So that's how we're going to get our mole fraction. Once we have our mole fraction, it shouldn't be too difficult to calculate the partial pressure because we can use this form of the equation because now we know our mole fraction. The total pressure is also given in the question, so then the mole fraction of each gas times the total pressure should give us the partial pressure of that gas. Okay, So that's what we're going to do in this problem. That's how we're going to tackle it. Okay, We're first going to calculate mole fraction, then we're going to calculate partial pressure. Okay, so uh, just to repeat what I just talked about, uh, as far as strategy is concerned, we're going to go through these following calculation. First, mass of each gas using that percent composition information. And then from the masses, we're going to convert them to number of moles. And then from number of moles, we're going to convert them to mole fraction. And then afterwards, we're going to use the mole fraction to calculate the partial pressure. Let's start first with the um, mass of each gas. That should be fairly straightforward for all of you guys to calculate. So mass of uh, the nitrogen gas, for example, would just be the percent uh, composition of nitrogen gas, which is remember uh, is given in the question, 15.6%. So it's just that, right? 15.6 over 100 times the total mass, which is 0.428 grams. If you calculate this, you should get a number that corresponds to 0.066 uh, 768 uh, gram. Okay, if I just carry out uh, to quite a few uh, numbers here, just because I don't want to round uh, at this point because I have, you know, a couple further calculations to do. So I, it's always good practice to just do all your calculations with all the numbers in first and only round at the last step. Um, you can do the same calculation with the rest of the other, uh, the other gases that you have here. So you have N2O, and then you also have uh, carbon monoxide. And I'm going to leave it up to you to do those calculations. It's using the same exact concept that I use here for the nitrogen. So you're going to have for the mass of N2O, you should have 0.19688 grams. And then for the mass of carbon monoxide, you should get 0.164352 grams. Okay. So that's where uh, we have for masses. And then the next step in step two is to calculate number of moles of each of these gases. So number of moles, of course, is just a matter of uh, taking 
each of the mass and dividing it by the molar mass, right? So then you're going to do 0 0.066768 grams of N2 divided by the molar mass of N2, which is going to be 28 grams per mole. And if you make that calculation, you should get, again, 0 0.0023 eight four six mole and again as you see here I'm trying to keep all these uh, numbers in here in my calculator and you, you should do the same really there should be a few more numbers here but I'm just writing it up to here and you can do it you know you can do the same calculation now with the number of moles of uh, again the other two gases N2O you use the same kind of approach here with molar mass and you should get in this case point oh oh four four seven five moles and if you make the same calculation with um, carbon monoxide, you should get number of moles of CO to be 0 0.0058697 mole. Okay, now that you have the number of moles of all of these guys, our next step here, you notice step 3 is calculate the mole fraction of each of the gases. Uh, and mole fraction, remember, is the mole of each gas over the total number of moles. So in order to get mole fraction, we first have to add all of these number of moles to give us the total number of moles of gases. So again, the total number of moles is just going to be the number of moles of N2 plus number of moles of N2O plus number of moles of CO, which are all these numbers. If you add all of those together, you should get uh, 0.0. 1, 2, 7, 3 moles. So that's the total number of moles. And now you can calculate your mole fraction. So mole fraction of gas 1, let's say N2, should just be the number of moles of N2, which is 0 0.0023846, divided by the total number of moles, which is 0 0.01273. And, um, and again, there's a little... 0.01273 that's just from the total here and that number should give you the mole fraction which if you do this calculation you should get 0.187 that's your mole fraction of N2 you can do the same calculation again with the other two gases mole fraction of N2O which should give you 0.352 if you do this correctly and then mole fraction of carbon monoxide should be 0. Uh, 461. And what I want to highlight here is the following. Uh, if you remember from the previous video, I mentioned that if you were to uh, add up all the mole fraction numbers together, it should add up to 1 because everything should add up to 100%. And that's what you see here. So if you, uh, let me show this real quick here. So you can see that this number added with this number here added with this number right here the last number that we got you add all of those together you should get 1.0 which is the mole fraction um, number the sum of the mole fractions right and that should be always true for any kind of mole fraction calculation okay so we're going to continue to our last part uh, of this problem and that is to calculate the partial pressure so once you have the mole fraction to calculate the partial pressure, you're going to need uh, to remember that the partial pressure can be given by the mole fraction times the total pressure, right? So, in other words, remember that partial pressure of I is just the mole fraction of I times the total pressure. And we now have all the mole fraction. The total pressure is given in the question, so it's just a matter of multiplying each of those a mole fraction with the total pressure. So I'm going to show you for one of the gases. Okay, so for example, if we're talking about uh, nitrogen, it would be the mole fraction of nitrogen times the total pressure. And then we just substitute in those numbers. Mole fraction of nitrogen we calculated earlier was 0 0.187. The total pressure was 1.75 atmosphere. So if you multiply these numbers together, what you should get is point uh, 328 atmosphere okay you can do the same thing with the other two gases N2O uh, you should get 0.615 atmosphere 
And then if you do, uh, do the same calculation for carbon monoxide, you should get 0 0.807 atmosphere. Okay, so I hope you get a, a feel for how to work through this uh, type of partial pressure problem. The entire set of how to do this problem is shown here on this slide. I just walked through it one by one here from the top left to the bottom left and then to the top right. Um, and there's a couple more uh, additional examples that you have to work through on the form right next to this video. So you get a little bit more practice with this concept of partial pressure, total pressure, and mole fraction.